Ah, Donald Trump folding like a cheap suit on the China trade deal. You remember the big trade deal? Oh, we're going to be great on trade, right? Donald Trump folding like a cheap suit. <sighs> Folded like a, like a, like you roll them up like a cheap rug and you roll them up and then you, you take him and you put him away. You hang him in the closet. Right? So what's going on? Trump to give China until 2025 to commit to a trade deal. So it's basically, he's not going <laughs> to, can you say one term president? He's capitulating on everything. Now trade, right? So what does it mean? Let's read it. Let's read it, see what it is, and then we'll talk about what it means. Trump to give China until 2025 to commit to the trade deal. With four minutes to go before the close of trading and stocks within spitting territory of red for the day, someone had to take control of price discovery. And with the FT's street creed already used up <clears throat> after its 90% done report last night, that's jargon. It was up to Bloomberg to preserve the trade talk optimism, which it did when it reported fresh details on the ongoing trade deal being finalized. And we do say, we use the term loosely, between China and U.S., which, quote, according to Bloomberg sources, would give Beijing until 2025 to meet commitments on commodity purchases and allow American companies to wholly own enterprises in the Asian nation. That was Trump's whole bitch from the beginning, right? We, they, we sell, they sell us stuff and uh, it's cheap. And when we sell them something, they, they, uh, they tax the shit out of it or whatever. They raise, they have a tariff on it, right? So it's, it's uh, again, this, this is more indication that the trade deficit is going to widen. People don't even know what a trade deficit is, but it's going to widen. It's already a trillion dollars a year on the Trump uh, it's going to widen even more. And it, what does it amount to? It amounts to less jobs. It amounts to exporting jobs to China. So Trump fails again. And here is where the deal gets downright farcical. According to the proposed agreement, and we use the term loosely, again, they say it, Ch China would commit by 2025 to buy more U.S. commodities, including soybeans and energy products, and allow 100% foreign ownership of U.S. companies operating in China as a binding uh, pledge that can trigger re retaliation from the U.S. if left unfiltered, unfulfilled. <laughs> so 2025, right? Trump is, is, is running for re-election in 2020. <clears throat> if re-elected 2024, he's gone. So 2025, you think that, first of all, if he loses in 2020... This is this is a a shit stain on the you know the on, on the you know the memory of this China. It's nothing. It's a it's a nothing burger. The next president will just throw it in the garbage, right? If he does win, and then and then lasts till two thousand twenty four as president, then by two thousand twenty five, the next president again they're going to take this deal and throw it in the garbage. So there is no there is no amazing deal with China coming down the pipe. It's a, it's a farce, right? But what's really going to happen is the billionaires are going to make more money. Why? Because the fear of a trade deficit, fear of trade deficit, fear of, um, uh, yeah, trade, trade, um, trade tensions with, uh, let, me, <laughs> let me read it. In other words, any deal announced this week would be nothing more than a photo opportunity and could be completely toothless for the next six years. More importantly, as we noted earlier, the five years interval would allow stocks to levitate each, to alleviate each, and every day for the next five years of the trade optimism, putting the S&P at, wow, 36,000 within grasp. So, he's, so Trump is he's capitulating on everything. He's capitulating on, on decreasing counterinsurgency wars. He's escalating that. To, to satisfy the military industrial complex. Now he's he's capitulating on trade to satisfy the fucking billionaires, the, the trade mongers, the manufacturers that take the jobs and, and work within China to make their shit to sell it back to us. This what a dog. Other hilarious non-binding promises China has offered to implement by 2029. Wouldn't be tied to U.S. retaliation, Bloomberg sources says. And now that a bogey for the 2025 target has been set, 
The talks are continuing in Washington where Chinese Vice Prim- Premier uh, Li He began planned uh, meetings with U.S. trade representatives and uh, Muchin, <laughs> Steve Muchin. There he is, right? So the shit is off the table, man. You're not getting no, you're not getting no trade deal with China, right? He said you're getting and you're getting uh, higher priced avocados because because Trump's gonna close the Mexican border. <laughs> I just bought a, I just bought like avocados in New York are usually four for five dollars, five for five dollars. Now they're like they're like two for five dollars. I just bought a bunch when they were four for five dollars. Right? I gotta eat those. Fucking avocado, price of avocado, because come on, Trump, man, you don't know what you're doing, man. Step aside, Butch. Step aside. That's all I really want to say about that. So so Trump capitulating on trade. He's 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 uh he's he's Mr. Mr. Make a deal. Let's make a deal. We're gonna make a great deal. And I know you guys love Trump. People love Trump, you hate Trump, whatever fuck Trump. Just hold him to what what he's supposed to do, right? You're supposed to your your theory on immigration was build a wall. You're not getting no fucking wall because 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 most people in America think it's a stupid idea that you enforce the law. No, I don't have any opinion of that. I think build a wall and if it doesn't work, knock the wall down. No big deal, right? We wait, you know, just another waste another five billion dollars. So what? But what about locking up Hillary? You're not you're not locking up anybody. You didn't lock up a single person, right? You're gonna drain the swamp, and what do you get? You get you get more swamp creatures. You get more war, more counterinsurgency wars. You hired Goldman Sachs to run the Treasury, you idiot. Steve Mnuchin. All right, trade. He's a genius on trade. Ah, fucking Trump is a fucking genius, man. He's such a fucking genius. Trump is such a fucking genius. Ah. Hey, Marcus Conti reporting.